So I've talked about Wondershare, we cover it before on this channel. And the reason for that is that since I started doing more video production due to the House Collective YouTube channel, I've sort of felt a bit thrown back to a previous era, like in the early uh, 2000s, where we didn't have all these cloud backup solutions and we had to manage our files uh, manually with uh, SD cards and external hard drives and, and so on. Today, things generally feel way more seamless because everything is uploaded to the cloud. But when you do video production and your files take up like six or even 12 gigabytes per, per minute, then it becomes a bit more difficult to, to keep everything synced with the cloud. So, uh, so I find myself having a lot of like local backups and copies and, and hard drives and, and so on. And I needed a solution for those cases where I lose files, if they get corrupted, if I accidentally delete something, if, uh, sometimes Premiere Pro could, could corrupt a, a project if, uh, if the computer isn't shut down correctly and so on. And, and in those situations, Wondershare Recovery has really helped me get back the files. And uh, now they've launched some pretty cool new AI powered features. Um, and uh, as you can see on, on their website, they basically now have intelligent device identification. So this means that if you, for instance, put in an SD card into your computer, it will automatically detect the device that uh, wrote the files to that SD card. So it could be like a Canon camera or even uh, at a DJI drone and, and so on. So the software will optimize the recovery process based on the original device that wrote the files to that particular SD card in the, in the first place. And then they will use the AI to, to make it more likely that the files will uh, get recovered. So I think it's pretty cool because it, it means that in most cases you will actually be able to recover the files regardless of, of how, uh, they were lost from, from the device. And then another thing I use it for is that I'm, I'm currently in the process of digitalizing all my, my assets, like both the physical uh, photos, but also all my old SD cards from the 2000s, from like hard drive from the 1990s and so on. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, to retrieve all that data. So I have like a preserved copies of, of everything from, from, uh, from decades ago, because I'm starting to think that many of these devices might near sort of uh, a stage where they will start to fail. And for that, Wondershare is also good. I've, I've found some, um, some, some SD cards, old SD cards from my old Canon DSLR camera and, and, and so on. And there were cases where some files were corrupted. And, uh, that's actually what I'll show you in, in this video, just an example from my, my old, uh, Canon DSLR. So let me switch to, uh, to recover it. So in the SD card recovery tab of, uh, of Wondershare recover it, uh, you can see a, a refreshed interface where it will automatically identify whatever SD card you plug in to, to your computer. And in this case, I plugged in an SD card that has been in my old Canon EOS 600D camera, DSLR camera from like, it, I haven't, uh, I haven't used this for, for many, many years. And while I'm doing this project with uh, retrieving old files, I, I just noticed that, that some of the files were either missing or, or corrupt. So, um, and, and this is a camera from, I think it was launched in 2000 and, uh, 2011 or something. So, um, so quite an, an old camera, but it still identifies it perfectly. So uh, all you have to do is simply to press start scan when you have any media being a hard drive, uh, then you go to hard drives and other locations, of course, or if it's SD card, like you just plug in whatever and press start scan. So it's very uh, simple. So, uh, so let's try to scan this and see if we can actually retrieve the files that went, went missing. So if I just quickly go to the uh, finder window of, uh, of this SD card, um, most files are still there, if I go to the folders, however, if I, if I go to the kinetic wave folder, which is an, an old school project uh, that I did with my study group back in university, 
Um, I know I had some video recordings from there, but uh, the folder is empty. So let's go back to recovery and see if we can actually find something in, in this folder. So back in recovery, if we go to the kinetic wave folder here instead, uh, we actually see that it has uh, identified two files and now yeah now the scan has been completed um but if we if we go to to the kinetic wave folder you can see that those two files are actually there and uh, we can even see a, a thumbnail so even though they're completely gone in finder uh wondershare recovery can actually see uh, the files directly so if we want to recover these files we just uh, select them and press recover choose a destination for storing the the recovered files and press save and it's very quick so the the, the file recovery is complete and let me just show you um, the recovered files so this was actually a kinetic installation inspired a bit by uh, by kinetic rain in the Singapore Changi airport where they have like raindrops coming from from the ceiling uh, it looks extremely cool so if you ever get to uh, to Changi airport you can check out uh, they have two of, of those installations in the uh, in terminal one and um, so this was this project was inspired a bit so instead of uh, of, of raindrops it was like um, rings we, we put but each ring is connected to a, a stepper motor and, and has like a, a an almost invis invisible wire uh, from from the ceiling so that each like the height of each can be controlled individually and um, then we put like glowing light in and, and so on yeah this <laughs> this video is not really how it works because i think we were just uh, playing around with it but um, i think the next one shows that we had it at an exhibition in in germany in munich and um it was like a revised version of it with a few more rings and and so on and uh, here it's a bit more visible i think how in the camera back then were kind of shaky but uh, i don't know why it's such a short video but basically yeah basically each ring is controlled by a by a motor up here and then and then it, it would actually react to the electromagnetic spectrum so if people use their cell phones nearby like their wi-fi and so on it would actually make kinetic wave turn into like a waveform to 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 sort of uh symbolize electromagnetic activity so the more people use the the more people who use their uh, wireless devices the more uh, it would react kind of a way to to show the invisible radio spectrum in in some visible and, and tangible way so um so yeah that's just an example and uh, but um, back to the point recover it uh, managed to uh, to recover these files successfully so that's the important part thank you so much for watching the video let me know if you have any comments or questions down below if this video inspired you please like and subscribe and have a great day see you soon bye bye